High school student in Clinton County started making cloth masks as part of a senior project, but now she wants to use her sewing skills even more. Newswatch 16's Chris Keating shows us how. Meet Carolina Carpanetti. The Rising Star senior at Central Mountain High School made 50 cloth masks back in May for the Clayton County Women's Shelter as part of her senior project. I just had the goal of 50 and that's when I worked out how to make a mask and like the kinks and the trials and errors. And then once I got those done, I donated them to Clinton County Women's Center. However, she didn't stop when her project was finished. Carolina and her mom, Allison Carpinetti, started a campaign called Sew to Slow. The campaign's goal is to create 1,000 cloth masks for her community. It was just good to help out the community and it feels nice to help other people out. So I just thought, why not keep going? I knew when she was making the first 50 masks that she was really enjoying it and uh, I think she saw a real need in the community because when she had those masks, a lot of people were requesting masks at the time, so it was just good timing. She has currently made over 400 masks during the pandemic. Mostly for businesses in need, such as nursing homes and churches, since they're going to be coming out and doing services again. Most of the money for supplies has come out of her own pocket, but now she's asking the community for donations to help reach her goal. After I make my thousand masks and I use all the money that is needed for those 1,000 masks, I'm going to donate the rest to the New Love Center in Jersey Shore. If you'd like to donate to Carolina's Sew to Slow campaign, you can find a link to her GoFundMe page on our website, WNEP.com. Chris Keating, Newswatch 16, Clinton County.